Hello everyone and welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles 3. My name is Wing Supernova and at the beginning of this episode, uh, I just wanted to recap... <coughs> I just wanted to recap what the fuck happened in that last episode. So, in order to do that, uh, I'm just gonna... I, I, I wrote down, I took the liberty of writing down some questions that I have that need to be answered. They're like, they're key questions, right? Okay. So, so the first first couple are, are simple. Uh, what is Ouroboros and what is Mobius? We, we really don't know what these powers are, where they came from, what they're doing here, and why we're fighting or anything like that. Yeah, it's it's so weird to me. Um, but I think it's supposed to be that way. It's supposed to be mysterious. We aren't supposed to know yet. Uh, the second, the the third one is why are we here? Uh, <laughs> Because they, they made multiple references to this world and all that stuff, uh, which confuses me and raises some eyebrows. Uh, how did we become Ouroboros? We, we still haven't f solved that little mystery yet. He kind of used a device that had a stone inside of it. Someone picked up the stone. We never really visited that either, so we don't uh, quite understand what's going on with that um, and then it was so it was the line that happened after the melee of fake robot shorted out during her fireball attack he was just like in specifically said something to the effect of like the queen is still hanging on and that she has hope. Something to that effect. It's so wild to me. It's almost like the queen is being held captive by them and she is being forced to control that robot or something like that and not going through with that last attack and the robot short-circuiting and being destroyed was sort of like an act of defiance. She was fighting against the will to do that. It's so weird to me. And uh, finally, the last and most important question of last episode. Uh, why was M's ass so fucking fat? Jesus Christ, did you see that thing when she walked into the room? Like, d fucking leave behind the fact that Noah and Mio, like, counterparts of them are Mobius for some reason. Just just pass over that. Why was her ass so huge? Did anyone else notice that? Because I noticed it, and I just didn't say anything about it. But I'm saying something now. What the fuck? Alright. Uh, the reason that we're in Colony 30 right now, as you might be able to tell, is because I started, uh, I started feeding parts to the, the Levness here. And... Rapapa has something to say. I expected to just be able to do this off screen, but I couldn't because Rapapa is saying stuff. So, meh, 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 meh. What? Meh, meh. Mecha Fred? Oh no, this is terrible. What happened? Oh, it's in pieces for maintenance. <laughs> Don't scare us like that! You only get wrong assumption! Then what are you in a flap about? Meh meh, I tell you! Parts of Mecha Friend missing! Repepa lose pieces? Meh, Repepa have all pieces before talk to you! Repepa in trouble. Destruction of construction. <laughs> not destruction. Construction of Doric not even possible without Mecha Friend. And. This is going to break poor Rivaldi's heart. We can't preclude the possibility that someone took the parts by mistake. Right. Let's ask around the colony. Okay. So you have to do extra quests. As a part of rebuilding Big Bitch. 
McGillicuddy over here. Someone who's often in and out of the Lebanese maintenance bay. That would mean huh. panic, the commissary, and anyone who's good friends with the knock on. So, we would have to ask any of these people. Um, but what I really was just walking around for was to go over here and just pretty much listen in on all of these conversations and pick up the conversation topics. Favorite Lovenesses. Very interesting conversation topic. Um, yeah. I don't think we're going to do any of the quests quite yet. We did want to just go from place to place and pick up the quests, in my opinion. So let's head on over to Colony Iota next and pick up a quest from this colony. And then we'll go to Colony 4, and then we'll go to Colony Gamma, and then we'll go to Colony 9. Just right in and out like that. And I'll meet you back when I've done all that. And then we'll do a gigantic discussion time. And now we, know things. we have a quest-related event here for Boliaris. Gotta tell him what happened with Ethel. Oh, phew! You made it back okay. Boliaris gave us a heads up. We heard what happened, so Ethel's... Your expression says it all. She bet her life on the fight, and she's gone. <clears throat> oh, Ethel. She was always charging off on her own. Spock it. Okay, enough blathering. We need to decide where we go from here. Yeah, you're right. So what now, Boliaris? Boliaris? Hello? Hmm? No, not mm hmm. We need a plan. Oh, right. I'm sorry. I just... I need some time to think. Excuse- Hey, Boliaris! He's taking it pretty badly, as you'd expect. But the smoothest course is for the lieutenant to step up as commander. If things fall apart here, then that's going to endanger Colony Force survival. Yeah, but he's not up to it. Nothing we can do. We need Ethel now more than ever. Boliaris. Hmm. Quite a strong quest that will be. But, not for now. Another jump cut! Woo! It looks like you have to go out there. Teacher, Noah. Student, Team Zakir, Shun. Tutor, Offseer. And now we know things. So now we have something else that we can teach. This quest that they have for teach, which is to, I mean, instruct the people of Colony Gamma. I think the recommended level for it was 57. It was the highest recommended level that we had. Which, uh... I don't think we're gonna deal with it right now. It also doesn't look like there's really any other people there that have to, uh, talk with us about anything. So we're gonna go on over to the Colony 9 Canteen, which is a bigger colony. And see what's up here. My stomach's growling. I'm starving. Got any okay, anything? quests acquired. Ten minutes later. And we've got so many things to talk about. 
but most of which are just bonus XP. So we're going to we need to lay all this out. We're just going to we're just going to grab all of the ones that are actually quests. Kite left Colony 9 with a few soldiers in tow. Oh, what? What's that little div think he's doing? Why would he... Agnes' military activity was confirmed near Millic Meadows. Opinion was divided over how to deal with it. You're saying he's headed there? Surely even he doesn't think he can wreck a colony with so few people. The Agnes colony is advanced, but the scouts are reporting that they seem to be retreating from something. That's what Kite and I judge to be the case, anyway. That's why he... Hmm. Now people are unsure on whether to ally ourselves with the colony that has the Agnian army on the run. I've told the scouts to look for Kite, too. Problem is, he seems to have gone, gone to ground somewhere. No one can find hide nor hair of him. I don't know which colony this is, but the, one that, but the one, only ones fighting the war now are the ones allied with the castle meaning colonies run by Mobius. What's your plan, Zeon? I want to find Kite before he puts himself in danger. Will you help? I suppose we've got to now. I mean, yeah, but... What are we meant to do if we don't know where he is? Kite has plenty of friends among the soldiers of Colony 9. If we ask around, we might be able to turn something up. Speaking of, Fox still remain in Colony. What, he didn't go along with the others? He might know where they went. Good thinking. I imagine we'll find him at the canteen. They were always mooching around there. That's where we're sitting right now. Let's go and talk to him. Uh, the discord between Kite and Ziad. Tutor, Offseer. Hey, Lons, listen to this. I've been asked to eat I've been asked to teach as well. What? No snuffin' way. The request came from Shun, from Zakir's team. She's one of the new recruits recruits that Tyon taught the other day. I see. So that's how it is, huh? Did she take a shine into you then? Maybe? I don't know. I don't recall talking to her much. She's an officer like us, so maybe that's why she's curious about meeting a Kavesi one. Ah, that makes sense. But in that case, I wonder what I should teach her. Man, I wish I could have been one of Tyon's teaching assistants too. Oh, that's right. You're now the only one of us Kavesi who hasn't been requested by anyone, Lans. Ouch. Uh, hey, Noah. Oh, buddy. Oh, pal. How about I help you out this time? Good grief. You don't need to rush. I'm sure someone will ask for you eventually. Thanks, Mio. <laughs> don't lose hope, Lance. <sighs> well, if you need my help, Noah, I'll be around. Just loafing about. Like a tool. So, uh, yeah, just let me know. <laughs> sure, I'll do that. I suppose I should find Shun now. Lesson in off scene. Irritation. This is what we just picked up from Colony not, not Colony 4. Colony 4. I'm probably just imagining it, but does Colony 4 not feel a bit tense to you? I noticed that too. Maybe something happened. I've heard that procurement of supplies isn't going too well. Not having what they need when they need seems to be an ever-present problem. Ah, uh, yeah. That would explain why they're so moody. And who's in charge of that stuff again? A department called the P Procurement Division, according to the soldiers who were whining... <laughs> whining about that. If we're ever in the area, why not pay a, vis a visit to this Procurement Division? Exhausted Supplies. I've got quite a few quests to do in, um... Colony Tau as well, that are already active. So. I wonder what Maxi's plan is. Whatever it is, he trusts us now, right? Something to celebrate? Yeah, it's good to know we haven't just been yelling into the void. We're useful. That said, not everyone was happy. That Jeremy lad, he's probably been through a lot. 
And Max, he said it himself. Not everyone's ready to be bezies with us. In which case, is it wise to take him at his word? I think we should. Must, even. He's worried about Colony 4, naturally. And if we can resolve the misunderstandings about us, as Max Maxie said... Well said, Mimi. Act first, worry later, yeah? Yeah, there's no point in rehashing it. We just need to do what we believe is right. And then deal with the consequences afterwards. Right then. Auto Lev situation. Lambda's auto levs still don't seem to be functioning. You mean the ones we took down with Isurd after the cave in? It's weird. We still don't know why they flipped out like that. Not only does the colony's best line of defense go berserk, it shuts down altogether. I don't like it. Shall we go and look into things? Yeah, there's probably something we can help with. Then let's go and see. Restart. We got one more section here. Emogen. I wonder how the people who left the colony are doing. They've stayed in regular contact, and as far as I can tell, they seem to be doing well enough. Though, Imogen's transmission was cut off. I don't know what happened. That's a bit alarming. Imogen's not the type to do anything irregular, so it's unsettling that she wouldn't just get in contact with us. Where did she go again? Colony 4. Do you know why she went there? I don't, actually. All I know is that she was very dead set on it. Hmm, in that case, would it be worth going to look for her? Colony 4 are an upstanding bunch, so I don't expect that anything bad will have happened. Still. Let's go anyway, and find out from Imogen herself. Let's hope she made it, okay. Right, then. The Nopon are here. This was something that was new when we entered the thing. There was like a stack of Nopon. <laughs> Everyone's commenting on how Colony Tau's gained a few Nopon. Nopon are every place. It's true. No pun are very hardy people. The locals are a bit afraid of them, it seems. I can't say I'd call any no pun I've ever met scary. If Honorine invited them, I'm sure they can't be bad. Stuffing their faces, eh? And here I thought Manana was the only one capable of that. Height of rudeness! Alright, enough prattling, all of you. Shall we look into it then? Good idea. Let's talk to the no pun as well. Cultural exchange. And there you go, there's the stack of Nopon. And everything else looks like it's just bonus XP, which, I mean, we can do later. We don't need to do it now. So, without further ado, let's check the quest menu, why don't we? Uh, so these things are a little bit out of our level. Um, this one, we need Alexandria in the party. And these ones, we need, except for this one. We need uh, Juniper in the party. And then the three ravens. The It says it's level 53 on this, which is a little bit higher than us. And the only way to get this done is to take care of these three separate quests that are down here. Um, all of which are our level, actually. But, you know. And then the missing parts part here... Rousing Boliaris, and for Colony 9, and a lesson in off scene, and exhausted supplies, and tactical erratic, and restart, and lost friend, and cultural exchange. You, you, see, you see where I'm getting at this. There's a lot of quests that we have to do now. Even though those are the ones that we've completed. But first, uh, let's go over here and help out with uh, Colony Lambda upon some other things and just fill out these yeah just fill out these ones that we can nice to get some first time rewards on these I can do that again and then we've got a few more, which we don't have Delicate Bell yet, so we can't get that one. 
That just gives us two gemstone that we'll have to sell anyway. Good bit of affinity, though. Ooh, it gives me two nope on coin silver for that. That's nice. Koji wants a bunch of a bunch of mushrooms, a bunch of legendary mushrooms, actually. They're all from the Pentelis region as well. Guess we just never ran into the uh, the Kelp Nameko and two Penta shrooms. We never ran into those. Ran into everything else though. Engineer gloves and power bangle. Very interesting indeed. A good bonus, all things considered. And if we were actually able to accomplish all of these quests, then we'll, we will, uh, by far, have enough bonus XP to get to fucking level 60 or some shit. We probably already do have enough to get to level 60. But, even so, we'll have so much. Um, let's just knock out a few, why don't we? I don't think we're going to knock out all of them by far this episode, but... We'll, we'll, we'll try our best. This episode will be side questy, and then we'll probably do some stuff with the main story. I might just super cut a bunch of stuff. Here's Shun. Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh... No, it's no bother. Uh, and who might you be? I have no business with you, but there's nothing wrong with me being here, right? I won't get in your way. Uh, all right then. I suppose I don't mind. Uh, I'm also okay with it, if you really want to, Zuno. Okay. Guess he doesn't quite trust me yet. He doesn't seem like someone Shun would be partners with, but not my business, probably. Let's jump right into it, then. Uh, um, wait! Oh, uh, yes? S sorry for interrupting. N no it's okay. What were you going to say? It's just, um, you're Kavesi Offseer, aren't you? That's right. And you're an Offseer, too, or so I've heard. Yes, but I, uh... I don't really know how to send someone off properly. I play my flute, but I get the feeling that's not all I should be doing, so... Hmm... Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, what am I on about? No, I wasn't judging you. I can kind of understand how you feel. Oh? Really? B but Ah, I know. Why don't we step outside the colony for a little while? Outside? I'm sure I saw a body of water in the mountains not too far from here. You mean Cooley Pool? Um, could you wait a bit? I need to ask permission to leave the colony. Do you want to come too? Uh, I'm sorry, I've forgotten your name. Zuno. Sure, I'll come, but please just pretend I got, like I'm not even there. I've got permission to go. Alright, we'll start the lesson there. I hope you find it useful. Uh, okay, thank you. Well, this will be interesting. Uh, let's go to Cooley Pool then. I don't know where it is. Where is it? It's up here. It's up here. Uh, I guess we'll go to here and then walk back. Yeah, it's just on the other side over here. There we go. Some blants over here. I also tried to see if I could, like, craft a lesser version of a gem that I had already crafted a better version of, and it won't let you. So, that's interesting food for thought, I guess. Now that Colony Gamma has been liberated from its flame clock, you no longer need to fight for its sake. But I think the work us offseers do will remain unchanged, no matter what. Hmm. Yeah, 
looks like we got multiple places to go. That's a lot, actually. Didn't expect there to be so many here. I guess this is fate too, huh? Husks. Let's send them off together. I wonder, what were these people thinking when they realized they were dying? I wonder if they wanted to carry on living. Or if they were relieved that it meant they didn't have to fight anymore. It might be neither of those things. Could be something completely different. I feel like I have no idea what to do. I want to empathize with them, but it feels like my melody just rings hollow. The more people I send off, the emptier I feel inside. If it's how you feel, then it's how you feel. No one can argue with that. I'm so sorry. I feel like I barely understand anything at all. Hey, welcome to Xenoblade. Shun. It's alright. We'll take it slow. If you feel anything else, at any point, just let me know, okay? Okay. Doing my best. Doing my best with the voice acting for this type of emotional character and emotional themes. It always used to feel like a proper send-off before. I never had doubts like this when McClan was still around. Ah, right. Agni and Offseers play in pairs, don't they? Yes, McClan was my partner. He went to fight in Alfado Valley, though, and since then he... Ah, I see. So I guess I'll have to be an Offseer on my own from now on. But just the thought of that makes my mind go blank. Like, I don't get what the point is. Any of it. I never gave off seeing a proper thought to begin with. I just left it all to McClan to take care of. I don't know if this will alleviate your worries or not, but... How about rather than thinking about how you should send them off, you try thinking about how you want to do it? How I want to do it? That's a big frown. Huh? You're thinking too hard. Oh, am I? Don't panic, we're in no hurry. Just do whatever you think is right. Hmm, I wonder if that advice works for her though. Huh. Would you believe it? I feel like she's asking you for help because she doesn't know what she wants. I think it's your problem to figure out how to deal with that. Oh, wouldn't be a wouldn't be a quest without a fight, I guess. These guys are weak as hell. What the hell you think you doing, boy? Oh, you want spike damage, do you? Last bit. The lights float away. They overflow from the body, like they've been set free from everything. It looks so beautiful. I want to help these beautiful lights. I want to lead their dance into the sky, sparkling way up high.
Where does it go? Where does the energy go? The melody you played with your partner was inside you all along. All that was left was to trust in yourself. I'm certain that's the key to unlocking your own unique way of off-seeing. Thank you so much. I'll, I'll always treasure what you said to me today, Noah. I must offer my apologies. What? I wanted to be there so I could make sure if anything happened to Shun, you couldn't get away with it, but... I see. So that's why you came. You're a good friend, Zuno. Not really. I just thought that if Shun got sad, Miklan wouldn't have wanted that is all. Thank you, Zuno. Hmm. Would you believe it? That's one down. Uh, where next? I think that's the only thing that we could really do. Oh no, it looks like we've got a quest-related event. In Colony Gamma. Why not? Namuki. What's up, Namuki? Oh, lawns, huh? Can we please talk later? I'm right in the middle of getting my research documents in order. Oh, uh, my bad. I didn't I didn't mean to bother you when you're so busy. Oh, wait a moment. You are Mr. Lands, correct? Mr. Lands? My name's Lands. I don't know if I need the mister. I never would have imagined you would come to seek me out. Oh, my name is Namuki, by the way. I was actually thinking of requesting you for some mentoring. There's a guy called you. Good for him. Wait! You mean me? You wanted me? Yes, I'd do anything for your help. Y yeah, sure. I'll deal with it. I'm just so glad you chose me. I'll get back to my documents now. I'll see you at training. Uh, okay, see you later then. That is, uh, that was something. I suppose we should quickly talk about that so that we can grab the quest. I'm starving. Got anything I can eat? We need to lay all this out. Hey, Zena, was there a little dude called Namuki among your little protégés? What kind of person is he, would you say? Huh? Why are you asking me about him all of a sudden? Well, you see, <laughs> you really want to know? Stop acting so cocky and answer the sparking question. Now, now, hold your ponios. Truth is, the little chap asked me to teach him. Finally, good for you, Lance. Yeah, it's time for me to step up to the plate and do my thing at last. Wow, he must have a few screws loose if he asked a big weirdo like you for help. <laughs> I'm in a good mood today, so I'll forget what you just said. Anyway, you asked about Namuki. Uh, how can I describe him? He always has excellent grades, and he never makes a mistake, whether in the classroom or in the battlefield. Hmm, you won't find him rushing headlong into battle like Foots or Nagumo. Why a boy like Namuki would want tutoring from a brute like Lance is somewhat of an enigma to me. Yeah, it is hard to tell what he's thinking sometimes. An inscrutable sort. Right? I have a little trouble with him too. Come on, you lot. You call yourselves mentors? Shame on you. There's nothing more annoying than the sound of lands getting carried away. Well, it doesn't matter what he's like. What really matters is that I make sure he knows I'm a great role model that he can depend on. That's probably not the lesson he's looking for. Oh boy. I'll have to check to see what level that quest is, considering... I mean... He's the last one to have to tutor someone, which means it's probably a little bit higher level. Let's check real quick. It's 
probably near the bottom right. Level 39. It's actually not. I suppose we should uh, go do that then. Why not? Namuki! Let's go see what this clusterfuck is gonna be. Uh oh. That's not a good sign. <laughs> the day has finally come! Hey, fella! Teacher's here! I had to think about what kind of thing I should teach you. But I reckon we should get to know each other by talking with our fists first. Yes, actually, I've been thinking a lot too. I've been wondering what's so different about us. Eh? I mean, the differences and similarities between you Kavesi and us Agnians. But the Kavesi are supposed to be our enemies. Such curiosity is taboo, an impossible dream, so to speak. You're all so veiled in mystery. I thought I'd lost all hope of learning about you. But now, look! Right before my very eyes, a living, breathing Kavesi! Uh, uh-huh. That's me. For my first step, a test to unravel the mysteries of your kind. Uh, a test? What do you want about, mate? Come on, you. Aren't you curious, too? It's okay. Just nod your head for yes. Let's get started, then! Uh, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Just... Pipe down a bit. Gotcha means understood, correct? Good to know. Huh? Hey, wait. Where are you going? Oh, pardon me. My excitement must have run away with me. Please follow me. I'll explain in more detail at the training ground. What's wrong? Come quickly. I can barely wait to begin. Uh... See? He's a mystery, isn't he? Y yeah no joking. Hey, wait a sec. It's not nice to quit judge people so quick, Zena. Maybe we're not quite on the same wavelength, but at least he asked me for help. That much I understand. I have to meet his expectations as his mentor, right? Yeah, I guess so. You can handle it, Lens. Let's hope we can handle it. Concerned as to what his idea of training is. It looks like it's 12 versus 6 here. 9 versus 6. Eh? What are these guys doing here? I gathered Kyrie and company to help out with my test. Pleasure to meet you, sir. Though I have no clue why we're here. I've got a rough idea. Alright, if you're all prepared, I will ask you to now conduct the battle. The rules will be those of a mock battle. Please keep fighting until I say stop. Team Kyrie, please fight to the best of your ability in order to test our senior colleague's true strength. C copy that! Of course, that means the opposing team should fight with equal fervor. Uh, okay. Are there any questions? I don't think so. <laughs> now, please take your positions. Are both sides prepared? In that case, let the battle commit. Hold on, you. Aren't you joining in? Of course not. I need to observe and take notes. But this is supposed to be your training. Don't worry, sir. Namuki is super smart. He's the prized advisor of my team. Don't worry. Just trust what he says. Ah, Kairi. You can always be relied upon for sound judgments. That's a leaderly quality. Uh, I see. So that's how it is, eh? Bah, might as well do this anyway. Get ready, you lot. You're going down. Alright. I guess we're fighting these guys. Boom, 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 boom. Two of 26, by the way. It's 
Sorry, Zuno. I know that you're a sword and shield guy, but... Uh... I'm kind of mopping the floor with these guys. Damn, Kyrie already? She's early on. quite a lot but he's dead immediately so that's pretty cool I'll just spike damage the hell out of everyone I got a few more Oh my god. Eh. <laughs> We're just smacking everyone down. Back in the fight, huh? Oh, that was it, huh? We destroyed them all. Ah, take a drink after that one. All right, stop. Please sheath your blades. It's finally over. Uh, uh, you you satisfied now, Namuki? To be honest, I would have preferred longer, but I got the minimum data needed. I'll share my battle report later. I hope you will find it useful in improving your skills. Thanks, Namuki. You're the best. Now, I would like to have a word in private with our seniors here, so please disband in a calm and orderly fashion. Are you sure he's not the leader of the crew? Nice work today, everyone. Yeah, see ya. Thank you for waiting, everyone. For you three Kavesi, allow me to give a brief review of your battle performance. Yikes, here we go. You have a good balance of skills and are highly adaptable to emergent si situations. Though I did not see any prominent abilities, your strength lies in having no major flaws. D do you really think so? I'm not a great judge of things. You're excellent at utilizing ether. No, rather your body has a remarkably high affinity for ether. It's highly efficient at converting the ether flowing through it into your abilities, just like a high-performing circuit. Oh, huh? I also have the sense that those wings on your head hold some kind of secret that ties to this. If you could just give me one eensy feather... Nope. Okay, then. I'll find out eventually, though. Mr. Lanz! Y yeah Personally, I thought you were the most interesting of all. Just as your appearance suggests, you are by far the sturdiest of the group. 
<laughs> well, that's obvious. I like to push myself in training. No, I mean, even regardless of training, I think your body was made to be strong and sturdy from the beginning. It's as if you were somehow built to be as solid as possible. Looking closely, your body tissue seems to be of, of quite a different sort to Noah's or Uni's. Yeah, that's because he's Mechon. Well, Mechonis. Machina. That, that, that sort of... Th that race. <laughs> anyway, the three of you all have some clear differentiating features. So, what exactly is he trying to say? How would I know? Suppose neither of you have wings like me. I never really paid much attention to that. Yeah, exactly. We're all similar and different at the same time, but nobody really troubles themselves with the fact. Ignoring for the moment the question of this inconsistency, I still require samples to prove these differences conclusively. And so, to begin... Mr. Lanz, I will now conduct a full body inspection. Please strip. <laughs> you can't just spring that on me. I don't mind, though. I'll just go ahead. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Thank you, Sena. That's nothing hurt. What was that for? I should be asking you that. Why would you just strip right here in the open? I exactly. Don't scare us like that. What? It's just taking off clothes. Nothing wrong with that. Of course it's wrong. Wait, is it? Um... I can't think of a reason. <laughs> I'm so confused as to what this world is about, dude. <laughs> Why did you sock me one then? Uh, I don't know. Reflex, I guess? Anime? Y yeah, you just look like you need a good smack sometimes. What the stuff is with you two? Hmm, interesting. Very interesting. What kind of response is that exactly? Is it limited to only Mr. Lanz, or...? Oh, I can't just sit here idling. I need to research it for my next... I need to research for my next test. What? Hold on! Oi! Come back! Oh, my apologies. My eagerness once took a hold of me once again. I hope you will cooperate with me again soon, Mr. Lanz. I expect great things from you. Oh. Mostly of an ecological nature. Uh, okay, sure. You can count on me. Just let me know whenever you need me. Indeed. I predicted, I mean, hoped you might say that. Well, then, that's all for me. You hear that, Noah? He expects great things from me. I yeah, I heard. Man, it's great being a mentor. That was definitely something. Quest complete. And guess what? He's here. Is Kite here? We want to talk to him. Kite? Nope, not here. Sorry, but I can't say any more to Colony 9 Outsiders. Oh, is that so? Fighting you. I will fight you, bitch. Oh, it won't let me. So what do I need? Do I need to put Zeon in the party? Is that the is that the case here? That wouldn't surprise me. You need my help. At your service. Let's try this. Yep. Commander! Is Kite in there? I need to speak with him. This way. Kite. Oh. What are you doing here? Planning on paying any other colonies a visit? 
the friendly army is still fighting those Agnes guys. They need our help. Colony 9 will be fine as long as you're around. So you're not going back? I thought you wanted to be the big shot commander. We need results. We need to know that we can survive using our own methods. You guys are all about empty lip service. It's rob or be robbed out here. What do you change by repeating the same thing over and over, switching between robber and robbed? It doesn't make sense to aim just to survive this moment. That won't fix the root of the problem. But that's how we've always lived. You don't understand us, Noah. You really think your hollow gestures are going to fix Colony 9? You're right. Which is why you need to help us change things. What? I can't do this alone. I need you, Kite. That's not fair. It's not like you to ever listen to anything I say. Ah! Ah, help! What's going on? Kite, the Agnes army is here. They're attacking. Why now? Sparks and ashes. Engage the enemy. Well, that's a good song. You lot... We're from Colony 9-2. Yeah, obviously we're going to pitch in. Thank us later. Let's go. Well, here we go. We get an attack up immediately. That's pretty cool. Hey, Emil got up to uh, level five there. Wah! Stop this! Hey, what are you doing? There's no need to kill anyone. Go on, get the snuff out of here. If we don't kill them, they're only gonna come back here. Then you best be someplace else in it. Ah! Kevez soldiers. That sound, was that? Hey! Listen, we're from Colony 9. Why were these Agnians still standing? Huh? You fucking kidding me? Why? Colony 9, you're the ones that betrayed the castle. I don't think I like these guys. I guess we're doing this then. Hey. They're from Kevez. Can we really fight our own soldiers? Dude, I'll fucking kill everyone. I don't give a shit. Y'all are just code to me. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, you like that spike damage, don't you? Mmm. Yeah. Boom. Someone ranked up. Looks like Noah ranked up, so does Zeon. Well, Zeons can't rank up. Eh, 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 eh. Spike damage. Get fucked. Asher's class is really good.
Now everyone's against us, and it's all your fault. How can we survive like this? And that's why we need you so much, Kite. What, otherwise our forces will take a hit? Kite, you know I'll go anywhere with you. So will you at least listen to what Xeon has to say? You must be curious. Agonizing over, it's all just a waste of time. Just listen for five ticks and make up your mind. Whatever happened to those failed fields of yours, anyway? The results aren't great. It takes time and patience to find crops suitable for the soil. I thought today would be a failure, too. Challenging the unknown isn't easy. That's why I was so resistant. You don't understand us. But I understand you, Kite. What? When things fall apart, I take full responsibility. So there has to be someone to replace me as the person who supports everyone. And that's... me? Colony 9 must feel the same way. Will you help support them together? Will you help me support them together? You're the only person I can ask. Kite. Five ticks are up. I'll help you until we find a better alternative to your plan. I bear responsibility too, as the future commander. Very well, thank you. Then it's settled. For now, at least. All right, let's get back to Colony 9. That was a pretty decent quest. Looks like he's just right in here. Wait, you're really going to accept? Pfft, come on, mate. You're the one who brought it up. It's strange for me to say, but it's quite the selfish request. Nothing I could have done if you'd changed your minds. Do you trust us a bit now? I do. I've learned not to be so hasty in judging people. So what's the plan? Essentially, there are three monsters to take out. But not essentially, it won't be easy, which is why you came to why which is why you came to us. Good guess. These three are pretty big deals. They control all the monsters around the colony perimeter. You could say they're the boss monsters. We scouted their lairs, but Colony 4 doesn't have the firepower to spare on an extermination mission right now. Deploying all the squads who are meant to be protecting the colony would be pretty backwards. But as long as the b these bosses are running wild, you can't resolve the monster attacks. Exactly. So, think you can do it? In our sleep. We'll take them out in no time. Could we find out any more about these monsters? If you want to know more, then you should ask the scouts who found the lairs. My team, actually. Jeremy, Flavron, and Yord are your guys. Oh, wait. Wasn't Jeremy the one who was with you before? Ah, uh, yeah. Look, if he gives you any grief, report it to me and I'll deal with him. First order of business is to talk to those three scouts, then. Thanks for this, and good hunting. We got it. Alright, so we got three different quests here on this one. I guess we'll take care of Jeremy's first. Huh. Would you believe it? He's up above. Oh, well here's Yord actually. Let's just take care of Yord's first. Captain's already briefed me. I'll give you the info we collected on the monster. M much appreciated. It's a wolf, but much bigger than a normal one. It covers a wide territory and is extremely agile. We analyzed its movements and confirmed Piento Basin is this as the site of its lair. And that's about it. Thanks, that's plenty of information for us to be getting on with. Don't let your guard down, we've already lost friends to this. We'll take it seriously, and we'll do our best to put it down. Thank you. We got one up above. Our queen was just a mechanical puppet this whole time? It doesn't make any sense. That's what all our comrades' lives, all the countless sacrifices were for? A fake? The big question that arises from 
the queen uh, that they actually did call Melia Antiqua. The fact that her body was a mechanical fake could mean multiple things. And the main thing that I am concerned with is where does all the energy go if not to the queen? Because that was what they were told, right? All the energy goes to the queen. Your bodies will return to the queen. It's quite interesting, to say the least. Uh, Jeremy's over here. What do you want? Didn't Maxi tell you? We want to hear what you know about the monsters you scattered out. The target hunting grounds are southwest of here, in Nile Valley. Anything else? Not for you. What, isn't knowing its location enough? Try not to die, traitors. Oi, listen, you! Leave it, lands. Hmm. Oh, and Boliaris is up here, huh? Why not? What do you have to, uh... What do you have to say, Boliaris? The commander would come here often when she needed to think. She told me her favorite thing in the world was the view of Colony 4 she got from here. We vowed to follow her to the ends of the world. That's the kind of person she was. Ethel will always be our commander. I can't imagine anything else. I'm sorry, Boliaris. I don't know what to say. Sorry. I guess I must look pretty th pathetic to you right now. Say, do you reckon you could do something for me? Yeah, of course. Anything. Can you take me to where the commander had her last battle? Boliaris, that's... Yeah, we can take you. I see. And that is, uh, that is the long and short of it, I see. Oh boy. Land right here. Oh yeah, we're fine, buddies. Uh, this is the last one that we need to talk to. So long. Actually, maybe not. I don't even remember what this is for. Hello there. Anything I can do for you? Heard the procurement division's having problems. You lot gonna be okay? Oh, you heard that, did you? Well, to be completely honest, I wouldn't say okay is the word I'd use. We've been swamped with requests for supplies from every team, and we've hardly been able to keep up. Queen's beans. Is it that bad? <laughs> Queen's beans. Uh, now I just get... Got a fucking picture Melia with a jar of jelly beans. There's always some kind of trouble, so with all these shortages, things are getting desperate. As resources are so limited, it must be impossible to fulfill the team's demands. Exactly, and if we so much as make a mistake in the distribution, everyone's at each other's throats in a second. This is worse than I expected. Is there anything we can do to help? There is one favor you could do if you'd be so kind. One of my subordinates is a nopon called Mikoko, taking care of materials for the cooks. And Brunella is looking out for the medic team. Could you help them out? Yeah, of course. Mikoko and Brunella, right? It doesn't matter who you help first, just thank you. Huh. Would you believe it? Ah, uh, Floron, you're the other one that we needed to talk to. Here you are. I guess you want to know about the monster? Correct. Would you be willing to give us more detailed information? Your enemy's the boss of the Arachnos, and if that wasn't trouble enough, it'll have brought its minions along. If you want to be certain to catch it, you'll want to ambush it by a raptor perch. Makes sense. Raptor perch, you said? Where is that exactly? In the middle of Donna Desert, east of here. Got it. We'll take a look. People died even to get to this much information, you know. But we have to defend the colony. So I don't say this out of duty. All of our hopes go with you. Mm -hmm. 
and I suppose we'll talk with Mikoko and Brunella since we're here. See what they have to deal with. What problem? Mikoko is busy full with craps. Scramu and go bye bye. Well, Mikoko, you're no pawn after my own art. Solon sent you sent us to help you out. Then you not dilly dally and say so in first place. Down to tax of brass. Mikoko, is ingredients not ready yet? You back again, stubborn like Rhinon. When Mikoko saying no ingredient left is no ingredient. But everyone, tummy grumbly rumbly, is very annoying to listen to. Annoyed one is Mikoko. Go away. Okay, then Kucha Kucha, Kukucha, waiting patiently. Please be quickity quick. Everyone unreasonable. Only think of selves. What Mikoko do when no ingredient to be had? That sounds rough. Stock need to be refilled. You, if you so eager for helping, then source ingredients. Anything can be an ingredient if you try hard enough. Could you give us a hint? Fruits, vegetable, meats, anything you find is fine. Bring and bring until stores are full. Could at least say please. I guess uh, we have to help Mikoko first. Let's see what Mikoko needs. Mikoko waiting! Hand over quick! Come on! What do we have? Uh, potato. That's 10%. Limber Lady. That's 10%. Wolf Meat. That's 10%. Oh, we'll just give you a bunch of Wolf Meat, you know? We have tons of it. Well done! Mikoko can finally replenish stores at long last! Mikoko, helpful Kukucha here to ask if ingredients ready yet. <laughs> Very helpful. Stressing someone out. M meh? Not again? Tummies of everyone making upsetting noises. Grr, grr, and bubble, bubble. Mikoko, already hear this. Kukucha, kindly take this and leave vicinity of Mikoko. Thinking's in advance. That perfect. Kukucha fill tummies of everyone with this. Kakucha will only take what needed. Mikoko had it with culinary team. To say thank you, Kakucha will give Mikoko grand high discount on favorite meat of Mikoko. Oh? Please not to hesitate when needing more stock up. Mikoko will handle meat with handling of priority. Kakucha delighted to hear. Can always count on Mikoko. Both of them are incredibly annoying. Was that bribery? It was absolutely bribery. Uh, I guess that's done. Now we can go deal with Brunella. Gotcha. Looks like Olashandra's having a problem with her. Look, our lives are riding on this stuff, you know? I know. I'm sorry. I'll get it for you as soon as I can. I... Oh, that's what you said last time. It's not that I think you're shirking, shirking your duties or anything. But if the worst happens to our patients, the procurement division will bear part of the responsibility. Mark my words. I get it. You'd better have it ready for us this time, or I swear. Yeah, you can threaten me till you're blue in the face, but I can't perform miracles. Are you Brunella? Sorry to bother you while you're in the middle of something. What's this about? We're here on Solon's behalf to give you a hand. Oh, goodness, really? Thank you so much, Solon. Perfect timing. In that case, sorry to go straight to business, but could you harvest some medical herbs and medicinal herbs and flowers? Do you have anything specific in mind? Oh, just anything you find that grows around here. R right, yeah. We'll just pick up everything we see, then. That's the spirit. Thank you so much. She's very young. Would you believe it? I don't know why it turned me around. I just need to give her some stuff. Just give us a moment. Let's see. Oh, we got tons of this. Citrabel? 5% for Citrabel. Just give you a bunch of that. Um, how much does this one give? 15? Poison Ivy? I guess Poison Ivy is worth a lot. Uh, what is... How much is this one? Citrabelle? Oh, yeah. Honey Lily is 5% as well. Cool. There you go. 
give you a bunch of everything. Yes, thank you! This is perfect! I'll get them to the medic team right away. You okay? You're looking a bit peaky. Really sorry about this, but could you do one more thing for me? Would you come with me to the medic team? Yeah? Why? Well, these supplies are kind of incredibly late. Do you think Alexandra's gonna get mad at you again? Please! I'm begging you! You don't even have to walk me all the way. I just need a little courage to face her. Please! Wow, the procurement division really has it rough. I mean, she can't be more than what? Fifth term? No worries, Brunella. We'll be with you all the way. Leave her be for now, Senna. She won't respond while she's so stressed. <sighs> this smell. If 10th term is like 19 or 20, that means that these kids get forced into this shit when they're <laughs> nine. Or 10. That's insanity, in my opinion. Uh, okay, here goes nothing. Good luck. I'm so sorry we're late, but we've got those supplies you requested. Yeah, thanks for that. Oh, you know, while you're here, there's something I want to say to you. Oh, um, okay? I'm sorry for blowing up at you before. I'm so sorry, I'll be more careful in- Buh? No matter how difficult the situation was, it was unreasonable of me to take it out on you. If we didn't have a procurement division, we wouldn't be able to help anyone at all. Captain Olashandra. I'm counting on you. Tell Solon I said so, okay? I will. Thank you. Looks like everything's sorted up here. Let's report back to Solon. And report back we shall. Uh, I don't even know where he is. I think he's probably just right over where we found him. Yep, okay. The marker didn't pop up yet. So long. I heard back from both of them. You've been busy, haven't you? Eh, it wasn't that much work. I know our duties seem pretty, pretty bland, plain and boring, but without us, you can't have a colony. In a way, you could say that this is our battlefield. Whoa. It's true. No, Mikoko, no colony. And without our leader, things would be really bad. Let us know if you ever need anything else, okay? We'll do whatever we can. Now Mikoko able to take a break. Please help Mikoko every day. You've made such a difference. Thank you. On behalf of the whole procurement division, thank you. <laughs> That's the no pollen version of the salute. I like that. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Uh, well, I think that with that quest completed, that's going to be it for this episode. And the next episode, more side quests, because side quests are side quests and they need to be done. So that I can get bonus XP that I will never use again. Yay, side quests. Alright, that's it. Bye-bye. See ya!